Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous videos we started with reduce operator. We discussed the purpose of reduce operator. After that we took a requirement and we achieved that requirement by applying the loop. Now in case of reduce operator Whenever you want to go for count, whenever you want to go for total, whenever you want to go for subtotal. So SAP is preferring use reduce rather than using loop. So what I will do, I will simply comment this loop. Because you all know we need to replace this loop by reduce now. Because our topic is also this only loop, reduce as a replacement of loop. Now, how I can write the logic for the reduce? Now, firstly, what is the output variable name? LV underscore count one. Now, we are going for which operator? Reduce. So, I will write reduce. Reduce is a keyword. Now, I am putting hash. You all know whenever you are going for hash, you need to go for explicit data declaration here. Have we explicitly declared LV underscore count one? Yes, we declared LV underscore count one is of integer type because system should understand the type. If you are going for hash, so you need to go for compulsory explicit data declaration here. So I am simply putting hash here. Now I will go for open bracket. Now you all know what is the syntax of the reduce. Firstly, we need to initialize the value. So suppose I am saying init. You all know keyword is init. Suppose I am saying count is equal to zero. I am initializing a variable which has the value zero. Now what we need to do. Next is your four. Now just think first. What is the purpose? We want to replace this loop with reduce. But what we are doing into this particular loop? What is our requirement? One by one record is going to work area. And we are checking if work area document category is A. We are increasing the counter by one. Similarly for B and C. So how I will write the logic here? How I will go for number of iterations here? So what is 4? Four? 4 is for your iterations. Iteration. So how we will specify here? Simple I will write 4 work area. What is the work area? LWA data in. What is the name of internal table? LT underscore data and yes, what is your where condition? Where BB type is equal to A. Very, very easy. So, but how, how I have written the 4? It will simply into this internal table. It will go for the records one by one. LWA data into this internal table. And it will check the document category A. Just see, we are not doing anything new. We are just replacing this logic with reduce. So what we have done into this particular logic, we are checking document category A or not. Same thing we did here. Into this internal table, we are checking, we are passing the record to work area and we are checking that document category is A or not. So this is your 4. What is 4? Four is for your number of iterations, your initialized iteration, yes. And this is your iterations, this is your, because we want to go for iterations where document category is A. Now, if we will find the document category as A, then what should be the operation? Increase the counter by one. You all know whenever you want to specify the operation, how you are specifying through next. So what will be our operation? Next is equal to count 
plus one. Sorry. Next count is equal to count plus one. We are simply increasing the counter by one. Just see how it is working. Firstly, it will go for initializing the count by zero. It will go for internal table. Yes, one by one record will go to work area, four work area into this internal table and it will check the document category is A or not. For that record document category is A or not. If this is true, system will simply simply increase the count by one. So firstly, zero plus one, one. Whenever it will find the next record, one plus one, two, two plus one, three. So it will simply increase the counter. Now I will go for right statement. This is our right statement. This is our for document category A. Now same thing, I will go for others. Now here, I will simply, simply go for LB count 2. Now this is your document category B and here it is 0, 0, 001 and it is LB count 2. Now similarly, we will go for document category C. LB underscore count 3. This is your document category C. This is our 0, 0, 002 and it is LB underscore count 3. We'll keep this logic as it is. I'll just comment that. I'll just comment this. Now, one of the most important part will come here whenever I will check the syntax and that is extremely important. I will get a error for this work area. I'm going for syntax check and it will say me LWA data is already declared. So what is the meaning of this? It means whenever you are passing the work area into this reduce expression, it will automatically understand that there is no need to declare. So it means this work area is local to this particular expression and it will automatically understand that this is the work area. So there is no need to go for explicit data declaration. So I am simply, simply commenting this important point. Yes, whenever you are going for this kind of requirement and you are going for work area, so system should automatically understand that this work area is local to this particular expression. There is no need to declare explicitly. I will go for syntax check. Now, you okay, this is text 0, 0, 2. Okay. I will go for syntax check. Now it is done. Just see how easy it is. Now, if you have these kinds of requirement, how you can achieve. Now, if I will check the result, because result should not be a mismatch. We'll see, are we getting a expected result or not? So I will go to SC11 transaction code and we will see. VBAK table. I think for document category A, it's 16. I'll just check because I have not remembered. For A, it is 16. We'll simply run. Suppose I will go for this. For A, it is 16. Okay. For B, it is 19. Okay. I'll put it in capital. 19 is yes, correct and for C it is 687. Yes, correct. So now if you do not want to use hash, it's totally your wish. You can simply declare like this. You are going for inline data declaration. Now you need to pass that type here. You can simply write reduce I here. You can simply comment this because otherwise it will give the error this explicit it is already declared. 
I can go like this also. It is totally your wish how you want to go. Here I can also go for inline data declaration. Ultimately, meaning should be clear to you. Because system will not understand the type automatically. Either we should go for explicit data declaration and we can use hash. If you're going for inline data declaration, you need to specify the type. I will go for syntax check. And you can see it is also syntactically correct. And if I want to see the result, result will remain same to same. I will run. Requirement is very important to understand, yes. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are replacing this loop with the reduce. So firstly, we put the result variable. You can go for inline data declaration or explicit data declaration. It is totally your wish. The keyword is reduce. If you are going for hash, it should be explicitly declared. If you are specifying the data type here, you can go for inline data declaration here. In the bracket, firstly, we initialize the count by zero. It is very important to understand what is the purpose. We are checking that the document category is A or not into this internal table for each and every record it needs to check. So we put four work area into this internal table where document category is A. And yes, whenever it will find the document category A, it will simply increase the count by one because next is all about the operation. Have you seen into this particular line? We have not used then and until because it's not required here. But we want to do, we simply want to initialize. We want to check and we want to go for operation. So we simply, simply put the result. Same thing we do for this document category B and same thing we did for document category C also and we got the expected result. In the next video, I will take one more example. In that, we will go for sum because so that we can get the clarity because ultimately how we are writing next for how we are initializing that is important based upon the requirement. Because whenever we will go for sum, in that case, we do not want to increase the counter. We want to go for sum. So how we will do that thing with the help of reduce auto operator, I will cover that part also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.